Yo, what's happening? What's going on? I want to begin this video like this. Um, I know more than you all think that I know. And the reason why I don't talk about certain things online is because I don't know who's watching, who's listening. Straight up. That if you were to have a talk with me face to face, a personal conversation, it just depends on what level you are, you are on in your ascension. Will determine how far I take things, how deep I can go. And upon talking to you, if I could talk to you freely about the things that I know about, you will see that the conversation, the knowledge that I share with you will be different than what I share with others online. And the reason why, a reason being is because of the fact that every brother ain't a brother and every sister is not a sister. And I have to watch what I say when I'm on social media. Straight up. Because I don't know who's listening. I don't know who's watching me. And that's a fact. Then at the end of the day, Let's just be real. The reason why black people can't seem to get it together, and it took me a long time to realize this, is that we have different agendas. That's real. It may sound funny, but it's the truth. Some black folks truly believe that the United States of America spelled with three K's is the greatest country on the planet. And that slavery was a long time ago. And we're free. While others don't, such as myself. And then there are other blacks that just don't give a flying fuck about what condition they're in. Or just plain old don't know anything. Not willing to change whatsoever. And I've learned this. Took me a long time to learn. That every brother's not a brother and every sister's not a sister. That we all don't share the same agenda. Some people don't want to fight for their freedom. Some people feel as though that they're free. And overall, some people don't care to know about any damn thing. That's real. That in this day and time, I don't care if you fit the description. Cosmetically, you got the dreads, the braids, the bees, the medallions, the onks on your chest. This is the reason why you see me playing Jane. Because being black is not about playing the djembe drum. Well, I say it's not just about that. Wearing an onk on your shirt, on your chest. Having braids, having dreads. It's about the state of mind that you're in. That's what matters the most. That's real talk. That if you're trying to save the black race as a whole, and you think that that's what I'm doing, that's my agenda, hey, more power to you. I used to think, oh man, the, 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 the non-blacks, the white man got me down, got us down. I used to think that. It wasn't until I ran across a, a bunch of blacks that showed me different. That they okay with working for the man. They okay with wearing European names on their back, on their shirts. They're okay with being consumers and not owner, having ownership. 
There's some black people that will get in your way. That will sabotage your fight for freedom. That's real talk. Every brother ain't a brother. Every sister is not a sister. But a simple fact of them not being on the same agenda that you're on. It may be your mother, your father, your uncle, your aunt, your cousins, your friends, your associates. They may not believe what, what you believe. May not want to fight what you're fighting for. And just, let's just say for the sake of the conversation, maybe they do want to fight for their freedom. Or I won't go that far for equality in America. Right? Their way of fighting for equality may be way different from yours. They may feel as though in order to gain equality or freedom is to vote for it. That we got to get a democratic president in the seat. We got to have a democratic Congress. While others may think, hey, forget politics. I'm going to leave it in the hands of God. That all I have to do is pray to my Lord and Savior Jesus and everything will be all right. Look how far that's gotten us though. Every brother ain't a brother. And every sister is not a sister. That's real talk. So this is the reason why I keep my circle small and that I had to disconnect, disassociate myself with some family, blood related family friends and associates that I knew because if you're not on this same agenda and that's to be free then I ain't got no words for you I don't let alone a conversation. I'm so goddamn tired of having conversations with black men in the gym. I'm making it relevant about sports till it don't make no damn sense. Man, did you see the slave trade? I mean, slave auction? I mean, NFL draft? Did you see how did you see the sparkle in these young rookies' eyes when they got drafted into a professional football team? I wanted to ask those same rookies, whose team are you really on? That's real talk. Because neither do you own the football league. Or the football team that you're going to be playing for. That the reality of it is. Is non-blacks own it. Run it. And control it. The NFL that is. So. Whose team are you really playing for? Because in reality. As a collective. Black people are not winning. So now that I see that most of the black people that are in America have their own agenda, then I got to part in ways from them. I do. Tired of having conversations about sports that don't make a difference, whether LeBron is the best or Jordan. Who cares? Right now, we are the worst when it comes to our health. When it comes to health in America. 
We are the worst when it comes to economics in America. Every brother ain't a brother and every sister ain't a sister. That's real talk, man. It's real talk. Black people don't even realize that it's when they wake up in the morning, every morning they get up and they walk into this artificial world that these non-blacks have created. That they're fighting not only a mental or physical war, but a spiritual one as well. It's real talk, man. I share something with you real quick. One thing, and that's it. This last summer, 2023, I was woke. Straight up. I was so woke to the point where I started seeing spiritual beings, negative ones. As I started seeing them and staring at them, they stared at me. They stared back like, oh shit, he knows, yes. If only the average black person knew just how much trouble we're in. Maybe you will wake up, or maybe not. Straight up. That ain't about a dashiki. Ain't about no unk. That makes you black. Let me tell you something. I know this to be a fact. I used to sell dashikis, djembe drums, unks. And most of the unks that black people wear on their chest, dashikis that they put on, and djembe drums that they play are made in China. Hell, I don't even know what's not made in China. Just the other day, I checked the back of my, my daughter's neck to see if she was made in China. That's real talk. That being black is a state of mind. And it's freedom that I want. Straight up. And I want to be around those that have that state of mind, which is freedom. Now, I ain't trying to be like Malcolm X or Dr. Martin Luther King, Marcus Garvey, none of those people. I truly believe to a certain extent they were trying to save the whole black race. Ah, nah. That ain't gonna happen. Why? Because black people are not on the same page. We don't have the same agenda. Straight up. You heard it. Some black people are like, yo, man, I'm not from Africa. I don't want to connect myself to Africa. I was here. I'm an American. We're so different in so many different ways. Yeah, we may share the same nose, the same lips, the same eye com color and complexion, hair, follicle, but we differ in agendas. Straight up. So I say, nah, I ain't trying to save everybody. Matter of fact, I'm not trying to save anyone. I, I'm having a hard time trying to save myself. That the reality of it is, is the growth, the change. The journey is within you. Oftentimes I hear this in the comment section of these videos that I do about black people. They always say, man, you always talking about the problems that exist in, 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 in uh, black America or in the black community and you never give solutions. What are you, crazy? You out of your fucking mind? 
I've been giving solutions every since I've started this YouTube channel. And the solution is within you. That's the problem with black people. We're always looking for someone to save us. You still got Nuwabians or Sabians waiting to free their so-called master teacher of the universe that's locked up for 135 years. This man is in his 70s. What more do you expect from this man? To the point where you say to yourself, hey, you know what? Why don't I, why don't I work on me? The change is in you. The solution is in you. That's the solution. And if you can't see it in yourself, then how in the fuck you expect for anyone else to see it? When it's not in you. It's not in the weed that you smoke. It's not in the church that you go to. It's not in the pulpit. It's not in the preacher. It's not in the president of the United States. It's not in your mama. It's not in your daddy. It's in you. That's real talk. Every brother is not a brother and every sister is not a sister. I don't expect for any, I don't expect for any and every black person to get this. Because this is a reality. The message may not be for you. Straight up. Every brother is not a brother and every sister is not a sister. And until we learn that, we're going to always be in a fucked up situation. Straight up. It took me some time, man, to realize that. But once I realized that, I truly, I truly understood what life is all about. It ain't about convincing. It's not about forcing anyone to do anything that they don't want to do. You can continue to tell black people how great they are. That they were kings and queens and gods and goddesses until they believe it. You know what I'm saying? Until they see that what you're saying is of worth, that shit don't even matter. It breathes right through, breathes right by you, by them, excuse me. Straight up. On this channel, I talk in general terms. You know what I'm saying? And I use the, the term that generally everybody uses blacks, black people. You know what I'm saying? And I met with the bullshit in the comment section of these videos and you know they people try to you know correct me oh black is not a nationality and we need to do this and that and we were moors and the straw man and corporations and this and that and so forth man let me tell you something black black people don't know anything about that shit i'm talking about regular black people straight up regular common folks this is the reason why i walked away from the conscious community because once you start talking that Moorish stuff and, and Anunnaki's and Elohim and this and that and so forth, you lose black people. Black people ain't read fucking 500,000 books like you all have. Or some of you all have. So upon talking to regular people, in order to get your message across, you're going to have to talk regular. But I know I've been in the conscious community and been around some sarcastic, egotistical, arrogant assholes that really don't want to see change. They just want to use these big ass words to make them look good. So people could stop giving money to their preachers and begin giving it to them. Every brother ain't a brother and every sister ain't a fucking sister. That's real talk. I want freedom.
Anyone that's against that, you ain't my brother. And neither you my sister. And you may say, hey, Linkston, man, you crazy, man. You keep on talking that freedom stuff. I heard this before and blah, 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 and this and that and so forth. And it never happened. Da, 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 da. Let me tell you something. As these airplanes fly over my head, at one point in time, they said that man would never be able to fly. Now, hear it. Hear it. Listen to it. It's real talk. I believe in me. And one day, I truly believe that I'm going to be free.